episode two, damn it! We're hyped to play this game! Let's keep going! Nurse Joy, how you doing? Could you please? Heal up all my sweets. Ooh, ooh, that rolls off the tongue. Nice! That rolls off the tongue. Nice. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my Pokemon Sweet Nuzlocke. It's episode two, and ladies and gentlemen, it's time to open some presents. And by open some presents, I mean it's time to select our very first Poke Sweet. The results are in. The people have spoken. Who am I talking to? I'm talking to you. That's right, you. You watching right now on your computer slash tablet slash phone slash TV slash whatever you're watching this on. Can you tell I'm hyped for episode two? Because I'm hyped for episode two. And if you are hyped for episode two, make sure you hit that like button for me. I greatly appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, without any more stalling, without any more further ado, the winner, the Pokemon, the Poke Sweet that got the most votes is... BAM! Brownie Sora got the most votes, and this Cherry-type Pokesuite is going to be our very first Pokesuite in this lock, and I could not be more excited! So, Brownie Sora came in first, in second place was Squirpie, and in third place was Strawmander, surprisingly enough. Brownie Sword got the most votes, I'm super excited about that, and we are gonna select Brownie Sword to be our very first Poke Sweet in this Nuzlocke. Here comes Mark, and here comes Katia. Oh, Professor, they're so cute. Yeah, they are. Sinisang and Strong, too. Why don't you start battling with them? Good idea. How about it, Vinny? All right, so we're battling Katia right off the bat, and I really hope that we can nickname our very first Poke Sweet, but it seems like we're battling before. Usually, you nickname your Pokemon, then you battle. Looks like we're battling first, then hopefully we can nickname, because a lot of you guys in the comment section wanted me to nickname our Brownie Store Fudge. A lot of you said Fudge, and I think that is the most adorable and perfect nickname, so we will be nicknaming this Brownie Store Fudge. If we can look at that powerful back sprite. Okay, so keep in mind the Nuzlocke has not started yet The Nuzlocke does not start until we receive our pokey ball So this battle is not really that important. Hopefully we win because if we win if we win, we will get to level 6, and that is going to be a very powerful brownie sore leaving this lab. Now, I do have potions. I did buy potions in the previous episode, in episode 1, but hopefully... Okay, that was a crit, but brownie sore stays alive. I was going to say, hopefully we won't have to waste any potions early on like this, but it's okay if we use one potion, because one more pound and this squirt pie is going to die. I refuse to lose! That rhymes. But I refuse to lose to a walking pie with limbs, a head, and a tail. I just, I refuse. You're going down, Squirt Pie. Squirt Pie, though, is an awesome Pokemon. All three of these Pokemon. I'm sorry, Pokey Sweets. I keep calling them Pokemon. They're Pokey Sweets, Vinny. Okay, Vinny, sorry. Don't yell at me there, guy. We get to level six, just as I suspected. And we defeat Pokemon Pokey Sweet Trainer, Katia. And I know it's not pronounced Katia. A lot of you guys were roasting me in the comment section. Oh, Vinny, it's not pronounced Katia. I'm gonna call her Katia, damn it. I'm gonna call her Katia, because I think that sounds beautiful and majestic. Anyway, can we nickname our Pokemon now? Mark wants to battle. Okay, let's battle Mark. As if I have nothing better to do, I do have stuff better to do. I have to nickname my Poke Sweet Fudge, because Fudge is an adorable nickname. By the way, before I even continue with commentating this episode right now, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the overwhelming positive support on episode one. You guys seem so hyped for this series. I am so hyped for this series. I just can't thank you guys enough for the overwhelming love and support. You guys flooded that comment section with votes and nickname suggestions. You guys are the best. And one thing that I did forget to mention in the previous... Brownie sore! Open your damn eyes there, guy! Okay, we gotta use a potion. One thing that I forgot to mention in the first episode, like all of my uh, Nuzlocke's and Let's Plays that I've been doing lately, uh, I will be nicknaming Pokemon or Poke Sweets. I can't get used to that. I will be nicknaming Poke Sweets that we capture in this game after people in the comment section. So if you want a choice to have a Pokemon nicknamed after you, or if you want me to use one of your nickname suggestions, just leave a comment down below and you can potentially get selected. Now, Strawmander gets another crit. Did you get a crit on me, or did the Squirt Pie get a crit on me? I don't know, I can't remember. I'm too excited. My thoughts are just going in my head and going out of my head. That's what happens. But Brownie Sword gets to level 7. And we learn Liquor Whip. 
Lycor Whip, Lasor Whip. I can't read, apparently. I'm a, I'm gonna be a junior in college. First of all, can we just establish how ridiculous that is? I've been making videos since, what, my senior year of high school. Now I'm gonna be a junior in college. That's pretty wild. Let me know in the comments below what grade you in. What are you studying? Tell me a little bit about yourself. In a sentence or less. <sighs> that is some... That's some high-quality H2O. Okay, so can I name Fudge now? Can I please name my brownie sword? Hey, that was pretty good! Vinny, you're thinking of exploring Sweetland, right? Here, take these! Okay, so we just received a cookbook and sweet balls. I'm guessing sweet balls are the version of this game's Pokeballs, which means the Nuzlocke has officially started! Ladies and gentlemen, let the stress, let the stress, let it begin! Let the intense, intense... Battles, let everything, let it, let it all seep in. The Nuzlocke has started. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. And I'm guessing the cookbook, why? Okay, I don't know what that was. I'm guessing, yes, I'm thinking the cookbook is a version of a Pokedex. It is a Pokedex, and it's broken up into recipes. Cakes, pies, donuts, candies, cupcakes, swirlies, fudgies, specials, and rare sweets. This is so awesome, and I'm guessing Brownie Sore is a fudgy. He is a fudgy! This is so cute! Let's read your- let's read your pokey- your- let's read your cookbook entry. There's a lot of stuff changing in this game. It's gonna be hard for me to get used to it. Um, but we're gonna try our best. Brownie Sore the Fudge Sweet Pokey Sweet. Sunlight is absorbed by its whipped cream and used to make the cherry on its back grow larger in size. It is a cherry and a- a chocolate Pokemon? Is this thing dual typing? Is that what I saw? Let's check out this Brownie Sore right now. Cherry and chocolate type. And it's got really good special defense, really good special attack. It has the clear body ability, which prevents ability reduction, which is nice. And liquor, liquor whip? Liquor whip. I'm think, I think that's liquor whip. Is that how you say it? I hope that's how you say it. The fro is struck with slender whip-like vines. It's got 20 PP and it does 40 base damage, which is nice. So I guess we can't nickname our Brownie Sword. Yeah, I, you know, that's that's a little bit disappointing, I'm not gonna lie. My vibe is, is a little bit shot there. Um, a little bit upset, but hopefully there's a name raider in this game where we can nickname our Brownie Sword Fudge, because a lot of you guys, like I said, wanted this Pokemon to be nicknamed Fudge, and I agree, that is an amazing nickname, and this is amazing music. I am in a happy place right now. Let me know in the comments below. What is your happy place? This? This is my happy place. So yes, the sweet balls are Pokeballs, I guess. A ball thrown to catch a Poke Sweet is designed in a capsule style. So that means the Nuzlocke has started. So once we head north, we can get our very first encounter. And we will nickname that encounter after one of you guys in the comment section from the last episode. Let's come here, Mom. Can you heal us up? Thank you, Mom. Beautiful. And now we can begin our journey officially, ladies and gentlemen. So we had two battles early on. Um, what I'm gonna do really quickly before I go into to the uh, new area, I'm gonna buy some more potions because the Nuzlocke has already started and it's better to be safe than to be sorry. Better safe than sorry. So my mama always says, let's come up here, Cookie Meadow. And we can get an encounter right now. Oh, oh, I'm gonna have a- I'm gonna have a blasty blast in this game, listening to all this music. Okay, here comes Katia. Vinny, wait up! I forgot what voice I gave her. And, uh, sh Mark is gonna say, sheesh, you're fast! We just got done battling! Mark, you were just quick to get out after I won. Quick to get out after I won. After I won. Red, leather, yellow, leather, speak English! Vinny, give me a break, we both had a 50-50 chance. Point taken, we should get more Pokey Sweets. We can capture wild ones after they weakened, of course. Hey guys, wait up, who's this? It's Matt, he has awoken from his deep slumber. Who dares wake me from my eternal slumber? Uh, we didn't wake you up, Matt. You kind of just woke up on your own and came over here. But anyway, I gotta give Matt the voice that I gave him in the last episode because it was fucking hilarious, in my opinion. And I can't remember what voice it was, but I'm gonna try to remember it off the top of my head. <sighs> Finally, caught up. Uh, who are you? Your next door neighbor? Hey, I have a name. I'm Matt. Gym leader Matt. How you doing? And I'm not interested. Just putting that out there. <laughs> Katia the Savage. Oh, you want to get serious, huh? Okay, then let's battle. Sure, Vinny, get rid of him. 
You're gonna make me battle, Matt? Is that really what's going on right now? So you're the new kid, all right, show me what you got. Ladies and gentlemen, three battles already in episode two. And we're battling rival Matt. Now, what kind of Pokemon do you have? <laughs> Pops a chew! Yo, that is so adorable! It's a Popsicle Pikachu! And you're going for Tackle, we're going for Tackle. Now, keep in mind, the Nuzlocke has started. So if this thing kills us, <laughs> we lost the lock. So hopefully it won't kill us. And it's super effective. Okay, so our cherry type move is super effective against this Popsichu. That is something we have to keep in mind. I have to study the typing chart in this game because one thing that we noticed in the previous episode is there's no regular typing in this game. It's all based on flavors and desserts, cherry types, chocolate types, straw types. I'm excited to embark on this journey. We defeat Matt. Where did Mark and Katia go? I have no idea. Cinna must have Cinna must have half baked my pokey sweet, but I'm still raring to go on another round. Or where Mark and Katia go? This isn't over. So he's going back into what was the name of our town? Cookie Village. Back in Cookie Meadow. And it looks like there's another present over here. Is this an item? It is an item. We found a sweet ball, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to get our very first encounter here in Cookie Meadow, I believe it's called. A Lickerita! A Lickerita! <laughs> Let's go! Alright, so we're gonna catch this thing. We're gonna try to catch this thing. Let's hit you with a tackle. It, that's a critical hit. This thing's got defense for days. You're going for a sweet scent. Now, I don't know if I want to use Liquor Whip. Is it gonna be super effective? It's not very effective, I believe. Yes, and it was a critical hit that did a little bit more damage. You're going for a sweet scent. Now, I wonder what your catch rate is. Let's throw a sweet ball, and let's try to catch this Lickerita. And I love that name. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, we caught the Lickerita, and I am... I'm so ecstatic right now. All right, Brownie Sore gets to level eight. I'm still disappointed that we could have nicknamed Brownie Sore. Please tell me we can nickname Lickerita. Okay, so Lickerita is the Licorice Sweet Pokemon. It attacks with Licorice Vines. A Licorice Flower grows from its forehead and blooms in the sun. Yes, we want to give a nickname to Lickerita. Okay, so look at that Sprite. You are a female Lickerita. Let's come to the comment section from the last episode and let's find somebody to nickname this Pokemon after. Okay, let's look. Let's look. Lauren Meeker. Lauren Meeker commented Brownie Sore or Bust. And yes, his name should be Fudge. I agree, Lauren. But unfortunately, we couldn't nickname our Brownie Sore. But this Lickerita can be nicknamed, and we will be nicknaming this Leak Lickerita Lauren. Lauren the Lickerita, I love the way that sounds. Lauren, thank you so much for the overwhelming love and support. You are an OG Kanto kid. You've been here for a very long time, and I can't thank you enough for the overwhelming love and support. So, we're gonna nickname Lickerita Lauren. And that is our first encounter. And again, I forgot where we are, where we're at right now. The Cookie Meadow, that's right. And what I'm gonna do, actually, I wanna keep track in this game. So I'm gonna open up the handy dandy notepad, which we haven't opened up in a while. And I'm gonna type in Cookie Meadow, and we caught a Lickerita. And this music is making me wanna get up and dance, but I'm not gonna. We're gonna continue along here. All right, let's come up here. And here's Mark and Katia. Sorry we dish you. That guy gets annoying sometimes. He always wants to be better than everyone else, and he never succeeds. Okay, that's not very nice. Let's talk to you, Katia. How you doing? Looks like there are mo mostly vanilla types around here. Vanilla is bland, but it complements other types nicely. Now, you are a raspberry and lime type. Impish nature, and you have really good defense and some decent special attack. You have the chlorophyll ability, which raises speed and sunshine, and you have the moves Absorb and Sweet Scent, which is a vanilla move. Yo, this is incredible. All right, so let's continue along here. And let's head north. And can I battle you? Okay, here's another wild encounter. What else can we get in this grass? It's another Lickerita, and this thing has the same cry as an Oddish, I believe. So what I should do is probably train up, and we missed, and we mi absorb. Tell me that's going to be super effective. 
Okay, it's not super effective. You know what? I'm not gonna mess with the Lickerita right now. I'm gonna run away. We don't need to train up just yet. Let's talk to you. I dropped my items. I can't remember where I dropped them. Hey, you interested in a battle? Yeah, sure. Okay, it's on. Okay, so there, there are optional battles in this game. That's something that I could enjoy. That is definitely something that I could enjoy. Youngster John is gonna send out a Meowfin. <laughs> Yo, this game is ridiculous. Meowfin. All right, let's go. So I'm guessing you are a vanilla type. Um... Now, I need to heal up right now. Let's let's boot up a potion really quickly. And one thing I also want to do after this battle, I want to check out the town map. So you're going for a scratch. Let's go for a liquor whip and see how much damage that does. Uh, how much damage? More damage than tackle. <clears throat> Excuse my voice there. Uh, and it's not super effective, but it does do more damage. Down goes the Meowfin. And we get to level 9. Which is exciting. I wonder if Brownie Sword is going to evolve at level 16. That would be five more levels, baby. That would be nice. Now, I don't want to only train Brownie Sword. I want to give Lickerita some experience as well. So, I'm going to heal up Brownie Sword. And I'm also going to heal up Lauren, aka Lickerita. I just, I love that name, man. It just rolls off the tongue so nicely. Um, one thing that I want to ask you guys. Now, in Pokemon Vega, we didn't use the speed up button at all. Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys want to see a little bit of speed up in this game? Or do you want me to stick to the no speed up whatsoever? For little tedious things, like tedious battles or wild encounters that, you know, are repetitive and boring. We might use the speed up button, we might not. Let me know in the comments below. I will do whatever you guys want me to do. So we're already here in Flower Town. Fla and look at the Pokemon Center. Oh my god. Nurse Joy, how you doing? Could you please heal up all my balls? So yeah, for like stuff like this, like coming into the Pokemon Center and tedious battles, if you guys want, I'll use the speed up button. If you guys don't want me to use the speed up button, we don't have to use the speed up button. That is fine. Let me know. Your feedback is always greatly appreciated. Okay, so let's check out the town map and see what kind of towns and cities and villages we can check out here. Okay, so this map is based off of the Kanto map. That's awesome because things are going to be really familiar to us, like as far as where we have to go and whatnot. I like that. So, here we are in Flower Town. We can go to the Chocolate Cave, the Flower Forest, Pudding City, Cake Castle. I'm guessing Cake Castle is like the version of the Elite Four. Candy Mine, Orange Hills, Orange City, Candy Village, Tower of Candy, Grapevine City, Grape Garden, Rainbow City. I think that's Meringue City. Berry City, Black Forest. And Milky Way, Freezer Island. Well, we checked out the town map. Now let's explore the town over here. What's this? We picked two orange berries. And two Pekka berries. Can we keep picking here? Okay, now I think there was a girl back in an earlier route. Um, what's really cool is uh, it's, it's like based off of the Kanto map. Because this is a ROM hack of Fire Red, which makes sense that it would be based off of the Kanto map. Um, but it's a little, it's still different, you know what I mean? It's, it's familiar yet different, which I like. Now, I remember in the first episode in our hometown, our home village, whatever, there was that girl that said she wanted an Orenberry. So, I'm gonna go back to our village and give her an Orenberry. I'll at least see if I can give her an Orenberry and see if she will give me something in return. I believe it was you. Uh, can I have an Orenberry? I'll give you a cherry berry. Huh? Why didn't I just eat the cherry berry? I can't eat that. It's a useful berry. It cures paralysis. It's useful enough to be worth starving over. I hate paralysis. That's it? We get a cherry berry? All right, well, at least we have a cherry berry now and an orange berry. Wait, did we give all of our orange berries? How many orange berries did we have? All right, so all of a sudden we have a berry pouch. That's awesome. So we have a cherry berry, two pekka berries, and an orange berry. You can never have too many berries, ladies and gentlemen. Just, pe just call me the Berry King, honestly. Call me the Berry King. Um, don't call me that. Call me Vinny. Okay, so we're back in Flower Town. Let's continue along here. Let's talk to you. Hey, kid, you want to know how to catch a wild pokey sweet? Well, you already know. Oh, fine then. Okay, thank you for that, guy. Let's talk to you. <laughs> My brother isn't back from the forest yet. It's not that dangerous. He's just getting flower. Why are you yelling? Relax. No, no door. There's a lot of houses in this game so far with no doors. How are people getting in? Here's the shop. Um, I'm gonna, I can't, I can't control my character here. I'm gonna come inside the shop. And I was expecting some exciting music, but we got the typical music, that is okay. Um, I only have 500 bucks right now. I'm gonna buy two sweet balls. And I'm gonna get out of here. 
So let's come back to Flower Town. Let's do some exploring again. Is there a hidden item here? No. Nope. No hidden items. Let's come over here and come inside, see what's going on in here. Um, let's talk to you. Woo! I'm trying to memorize all my notes. You do that, sweetheart. You do that. I really don't know why it's called home economics. Anyway, class isn't in session. That girl's doing homework. Oh, but do study as well. The flavor charts are on the board. Various flavors of Poke Sweet and their relations are listed. Let's see. Cherry, strawberry, and apple are effective against orange. But lose to raspberry. Orange beats banana and lemon, which in turn beat each other. Lime beats blueberry, but loses to banana and lemon. These are the, oh my god, those are the basics? That is confusing as shit. I'm gonna have to study the type chart that Tony sent me. One of the Kanto kids, Tony, sent me a type chart, and I will be studying that because it will definitely come in handy in this lock. All right, so we can come over here and talk to you. Okay, I'm clicking A. You guys are hearing that, but he has no dialogue to say. Okay, so apparently he doesn't have to... That looks so amazing. Let's come over here. Any items? No. There is Mark and Katia again. Here is a gym. Now, is this the first gym, or is this going to be Giovanni's gym? Like, the last gym. Yep, okay, so it's the last gym. Now, I wonder if the gym leaders in this game are going to be the Kanto gym leaders, or if they're going to be random made-up new characters. So we're going to wait and see for that. I wish I had an Aspear Berry. They're pretty tasty. They grow on trees in west part of the town. All right, so we're just, like, going on berry hunts for all these chickadees today. Chickadees? Yeah, that's, I said that. That's what I said. Flower forest up ahead. Flower and flowers grow there. Getting some is tricky, though. There's pokey sweets everywhere. Well, thank you for that. Let's head uh, west, and let's see if there's a rival battle over here. Here we are on Apple Road, so we can get another encounter. So let's do that right now, and hold on. Love that music. All right, so let's get another pokey sweet. Come on, show me something good. Show me something good. Okay, we found a Candino. Candino? I don't know, but you look pretty awesome. You are a male Candino, and you traced us. Um, right off the bat, I'm just gonna throw a sweet ball at you and see if we can catch you without weakening you. Now, what type are you? Come on, can we catch the Candino? No, we cannot catch the Candino. Tackle, and it's gonna do a good amount of damage. Not a good amount of damage at all, actually. Lauren eats it up. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, really, Candino? <sighs> okay, here we go. Absorb. How much damage is that gonna do? Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Okay, good, 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 good. Candino got its energy drain. The word, the, the name Candino reminds me of the word Bandito, and Bandito reminds me of the movie Pop Star Never Stop Never Stopping. If you guys haven't seen that movie, I highly recommend you go see that movie. And if you don't want to go see the movie, get the soundtrack. The soundtrack to that movie is absolutely hysterical. And listen to Two Banditos, one of my favorite songs on the album. But yeah, if you, when I said if you don't want to see the movie, no, no, no. Go see the movie. If you love The Lonely Island, you will love this movie. Absolutely hysterical. I know I've talked about this already in a previous episode on something on my channel I have. A gentle and kind sweetie that can make candy earrings out of its own body. That's pretty graphic. Which it gives to its friends. That's actually kind of... It's a sweet gesture, but it's a little weird. All right, so let's find a nickname for this Candino, Candino, whatever. Let's check it out in the comment section. Let's see here. Who are we going to nickname? Who are we going to select here? Oh my god, this is a badass name. Scottimus Prime. Scottimus Pr Prime wanted us to select Brownie Sword, we did, and he wanted us to nickname it Coco, which is also a powerful nickname. Unfortunately, we couldn't nickname the Brownie Sword. We would have nicknamed it Fudge. But anyway, Scottimus Prime, thank you so much for the love and support. We will nickname this Candino, this Candino. I still don't know how to say this thing's name. After you. So we will nickname this thing. I'm going to nickname it exactly that. Scottimus. It's like this thing. Scott. It's okay. scott Mus And beautiful it fits. So Scottimus. 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 It's beautiful. Let's check out Scottimus. And I think that's a powerful nickname again. Scottimus Prime. Thank you so much for the love and support. Look at this thing. Sprite. Oh my god. Tim in nature, it's a strawberry and vanilla type Pokemon. So I guess vanilla type is basically the normal type. 
of the regular Pokemon world. It has the Trace ability, which copies special ability. It has 8 attack, 10 defense, 10 special attack, 9 special defense, and speed is 9 as well. Why am I reading that? You guys can read that for yourselves. I'll read it out loud. Who gives a damn? What am I saying? It's a little late. I'm getting a little tired. It is 25 minutes into this episode, so I'm just going to see if we can do a rival battle. And then we will call it a day in today's episode. Uh, let's see here. So no, no rival battle. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go back to the Pokemon Center. That's what we're gonna do, and we're gonna heal up the squad, and then we will call it a day in episode. No, you know what? We're not gonna call it a day in episode two. We're gonna go to thirty minutes in today's episode. It's episode two. Damn it! We're hyped to play this game. Let's keep going. Nurse Joy, how you doing? Could you please heal up all my sweets? Ooh, ooh, that rolls off the tongue. Nice. That rolls off the tongue. Nice, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so let's come out of here. And let's head north, because we can probably get more encounters up here after we talk to these schmucks. Oh, hey there, Vinny. We were looking to battle in the gym here, but it's closed. And my voice changed five times since the original episode. If you beat the strongest battler in the gym, you'll win a badge. I wonder why this town's gym is closed. Ah, oh, well, Vinny, we're headed to the next town. Follow us if you like. See ya. Yeah, peace out. What are you two, dating or something? Okay, Donut Plains. And one thing that I forgot to do was bust out the handy dandy notebook and write down where we found Scottimus. Uh, we found Scottimus where? Apple Road. So let's write down Apple Road in the handy dandy notebook and write Candino. And now where are we? Where are we at? Duh. Bum, bum, bum. Where are we at? Duh. Let's come up here. Donut Plains. Donut Plains. Okay, let's see what we're going to catch. Hopefully we get something absurd right now. I want to end the episode off on a high note with a powerful encounter. What's it going to be? We found a cream puff. Okay, a male cream puff at level 5. I will take it. Let's go for an absorb. See how much damage that does. This cream puff is going to go for a defense curl. Yeah, this game is amazing. Now, I wonder if every Pokemon in this game is like a dessert Poke Sweet or whatever. That would be awesome. I, I don't want to see any regular Pokemon. I want to see all dessert type Pokemon. That's what I want to see. This game, this game literally hooked me and reeled me in, and I'm, I'm, I'm bait. I'm, I'm not bait, I'm the, I'm the catch of the day. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just saying phrases and words at this point. So we're gonna go for another absorb. <laughs> it's late, I'm tired, man. Long shift at work today. No, it wasn't. It was a five-hour shift. That's not long at all. I'm just, my head's up my ass. Here's my head, here's my ass. Right up my ass. Wow, that's a nice visual, isn't it? Let's try to catch this cream puff, and we will... And we will nickname this cream puff after one of you guys. Beautiful! We caught the cream puff. We caught the cream puff. This is beautiful. Yo, usually in a Nuzlocke, I always have problems like building my team early on. What do we have? Three, three or four Pokemon already? The cream sweet. Okay. It does its best to look cute and doesn't like being ignored. It has a very cute singing voice. That is, that is beautiful. Right, let's come to the comment section and let's look for a name for this cream puff. Okay, let's see here. Alright, let's let's do a little scroll action. Corin Green. I hope I'm saying that right. Corin Coran. I'm gonna say Corin Green. Love all the videos, net. Love all the videos, man. I have no idea how I came across the channel, but I love it. Corin, thank you so much. Welcome to the channel, and I will nickname this Cream Puff after you. So we're gonna nickname this thing K O R O N. And again, if I'm saying your name wrong, please correct me in the comments in this episode. But I'm pretty sure it's Corin. Corin, like the cat from DBZ. That is powerful. That is badass. So Corin, you are gonna be nicknamed after this Cream Puff. Thank you so much for the love and support. I cannot thank you enough. Let's continue along here. And let's make our way into this building right here. And I love the way this game is designed. I really do. Okay, here we are in the Flower Forest. So what I'm going to do right now is... Yeah, we have four Pokemon on the team already. I'm going to get an encounter for the Flower Forest. And then we're going to call it a day in Episode 2. And we'll pick up in Episode 3, coming through the Flower Forest. Here we have a Cookie Tot. <laughs> a Cookie Tot. Yo, this thing... Excuse me. This thing, welcome to Voice Crack City, my name is Vinny and I am the mayor. This thing looks menacing, this thing looks badass, this thing looks powerful. I'm gonna catch you and I will nickname you after one of the Kanto kids in the comment section down below. 
and I can't wait to get this episode up for you guys. I don't know why I'm having trouble speaking tonight. Let's just try to throw a pokey. Oh, we only have three sweet balls left. Come on. Let's catch this thing on the first try. Stay in the ball, cookie tot. Stay in the ball, cookie tot. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, we caught the cookie tot. That is what I like to see. And Lauren gains 85 experience points. Lauren grows to level 9. That's what I like to see. Cookie Tot was put in the cookbook. And this is the Gentle Bug Suite. Its body seems to contain cookie. But it wears a raspberry outfit to improve its taste. Making it very attractive. You are attractive. I, I would take you on a date. I totally would take you on a date. Let's find a nickname for this Cookie Tot. And let's scroll through the comments over here. Tyler Demarinus, my friend from high school. My dude, thank you so much for the love and support. I cannot thank you enough. Thank you for always checking out the videos. Thank you for the positive feedback. And you wanted Squirt Pie, and you wanted it to be named Tyler. Well, unfortunately, we did not select Squirt Pie. We selected Brownie Sore, but we will nickname this Cookie Tot after you. So we're going to nickname this Cookie Tot Tyler, which is a very powerful nickname. And ladies and gentlemen, with that, we're going to call it a day in today's episode. In the next episode, we will come through Flower Forest and we will see what we got to do. Really quickly, let's just take out the team. We have a squad right now. Lauren, the Licorita. Brownie Sore, the Brownie Sore. Why is your nickname not Fudge? Hopefully we can nickname you soon. Scottimus, the Candino, the Candino. I don't know how to say your name. <laughs> and Corin, the Cream Puff. And last but not least, Leith. I have a lisp now all of a sudden. Tyler, the Cookie Top. Raspberry, chocolate type, powerful, sassy, tackle, pound defense curl, tackle liquor whip, leer, tackle growl liquor whip. Absorbing sweet scent. Guys, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. I'm gonna go to sleep. I am a tired little baboon right now. Thank you so much for watching episode two of Pokemon Sweet. If you enjoyed this episode, hit that like button, leave a comment, and I will see you guys in the next episode. As always, love and respect goes out to everybody. Don't forget to comment, to rate, and to subscribe. This is Original 151, and I will see you guys next time.